Dominique et Nicanique s'en allaient tout simplement au Dieu, pauvre et chantant. En tout chemin, en tout lieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu, il ne parle que du bon Dieu. Hello, my dear parish. In the last days, I spent a lot of time to find out more about the basics of the Christian religion. So I want to know what attracts people to Christ in the first place. Therefore, I made a survey here in my local parish and I want to share with you the results of this survey. 84.2% of women don't find the crucified body of Christ attractive. Nine-tenths of women find God's Son in the usual representation as too skinny, too vulnerable and too little muscular to show up with this naked torso. Even Jesus' beard and his long hairs are an obstacle to 79% of the asked women to make him a potential sex partner. Now to do a counterpoint to the ladies' answers, I found out that if Jesus was a woman, with those same body measurements, men would find it in 89% of the cases very attractive to see her in this crucified position, even without being nailed. It seems even that one-fifth of all men had made auto-erotic acts imagining this position of a woman. However, there is hope for our Savior. Two-thirds of women who are not turned on by Jesus said that if he would eat some more and went to work out in a fitness studio, then a modern haircut with a three days beard, he would be considered as a potential partner. I will suggest to adapt Jesus to the today's common ideals of beauty or to exchange him with an attractive woman. Well, yes, but the more appropriate way to regain people to Christianity is a gender-neutral dual solution of a pimp Jesus and an attractive woman on his side. Now, look at the 15.8% of women who actually are attracted by the actual representation of Christ. How are they? They are split in two groups. The first group are women who are attracted by scars, and the other group is uh, who are those who are anyway attracted by uh, the religious type of man. Well, yes, should this all give us to think about? Caress you and thank you very much. Ciao.